Hello and welcome everyone. Today I am going to start a new series of tutorial videos on ASP.NET Core technology and these tutorials are based on actual Microsoft documentation um, in the form of tutorials and whose URL will be found in the YouTube video description. So let's get started. Click on File, New, Project. ASP.NET Core Web Application and um, I'll just browse it to the appropriate directory which is G videos web projects and select this folder and name this project Razor Pages Movie and click on OK. ASP.NET Core 2.1 is included by default so I'll go with that and uh, just click on OK with the default configurations it's now going to create a starter project and I will just click F5 to run this project and we'll study the different details of this project so you have seen that build is succeeded and it is loading the project so the project is loaded on the localhost port double four three three eight. Um, it looks like this. It shows application uses and how tos and overviews and or what not. Now we'll have a brief um, overview of the different project files and folders. So I will just bring the solution and we'll see that there is a dub 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 root folder which contains static assets and uh, these are the static files and there's a CSS folder and an images folder and a JS folder and a library having a few other folders on jQuery, jQuery validation etc. There is then this pages folder and there is a app setting dot json file that is this one there is a program dot cs file and then there is a startup dot cs files so all this is the under the file structure now the layout dot cs html contains common html elements scripts and style sheet links that is the layout dot cs html uh, where is the layout.cshtml? It seems uh, okay. So I'm looking for the layout.cshtml file. Here, yeah, there it is. Layout.cshtml. Okay, this file contains common HTML elements, script and style sheet links, as you can see there. Um, that sets the layout for the app. For example, when you select the Razor Pages Movie Home About or Contact, a common set of elements appear in the web page. The common elements include the navigation menu at the top and the header at the bottom of the window. Okay. Now another thing is these are all in the shared folder within the pages validation scripts partial.cshtml. So what this does is to provide a reference to the jQuery validation scripts. Okay, here it is. 
and when the create and edit pages are added later in this tutorial this file is used now there is another third file cookies consent partial .cshtml. that file provides a navigation bar and content to summarize the privacy and cookie use policy and you can get more information on the GDPR assets included in the project um, the pages folder now the pages folder there is a view start dot CSHTML it sets the pages layout property to use the layout dot CSHTML file which you have seen a while back the view imports.cshtml this contains razor directive this is all at the rate that is razor directive that are imported into each razor pages the about contact and index are the basic pages that you can use to start an app the error page is used to write the error display the error information now we'll see the how f7 is used to toggle between a razor page and the page model so select tools options and environment and keyboard click on keyboard and type um, toggle razor view toggle razor view and the highlighted one editor context menus dot code windows dot toggle review toggle razor review and click on OK and here I'll just uh, press F7 key click on assign and click on OK so F7 now we will toggle between the uh, CS file and the CS HTML file. So if it is index, okay, so it is just toggling between these two. So that's it. Next we'll see the model. If you like my tutorial, just click on like and subscribe to it for going to the next tutorials